Three, two, one. <laughs> Hello. Hello, everyone. It's been a while. I haven't released a video in like a month, and I'm sorry for that. I wanted to quickly put one out for you and give you seven pieces of advice that I think would help you, especially if you're coming to Japan. So number one, have a basic functional grasp of the Japanese language. I have, I would say, a decent, decent okay use of J Japanese as a, as a language, like enough to get by, and I struggle a whole lot with like documents and I had to get something fixed in my house and that was a nightmare. So please, know as much Japanese as you can before coming to Japan. Number two, have Japanese friends in Japan. I cannot stress the importance of a good support system, especially if you're moving to a new country. And you might be thinking to yourself, well, how am I going to make friends? Well, there are a few ways, and I'll t tell you the ways that I did it. I went up to meetup.com, I went to online language exchanges, and I actually made friends that way, and I got to get to see some of them from time to time. Number two, you can go onto an app called HelloTalk, and just exchange information with different Japanese people and, and chat with them and make friends that way. If you're in Japan already, once again, go to meetup, go to in-person language exchanges and become friends. I play soccer on the weekend with a bunch of Japanese people as well as some other foreigners. There will always be an opportunity to exchange language, which I think is really good, especially if you're coming to Japan where they speak Japanese, to make friends in that way. Have, try to make as many friends as you can before coming to Japan because it'll help you learn the language and the culture. Number three, I recommend looking for apartments before you come to Japan if you know where you're going to be teaching. If you know where you're going to be teaching, go on to Leo Palace and try to look. Because one of my friends took the Borderlink apartment and he found his same apartment that Borderlink had for $50 less on another website. Borderlink's not a bad company. They'll give you options and they'll make everything simple for you. If you want more space, you want to pay less and you want to be closer to the action, the action being like a train station or a bus stop or, you know, nearer to the city, then I recommend maybe looking for your own apartment. Number four, internet service providers in Japan will take about a hundred years to come set up your internet. So I recommend as soon as you have your apartment, call them or, or go onto their website and immediately be like, I want to set up my internet. It took two weeks for them to set up a date and come and install my internet, which could have taken not that long. I recommend when you're first coming here, sign up with Sakura Mobile because when they're setting up your internet, they'll give you a, a small pocket Wi-Fi if you pick it and uh, it will tide you over until they come set your internet up. Number five, when you want to exchange money, I recommend using your debit card at a local ATM. Some of the best rates for exchange that I've gotten here in Japan are actually from the ATMs, not your exchange places. If you have physical cash already, then you have to go to an exchange place, which is, it is what it is. Number six, this is more of advice if you're already in Japan. I recommend getting an IC card. You can get one that's called Suica or Pasmo or Ikoka. And these things are like rechargeable debit cards. You can get these from just about any station. They come out in a card and then you can put money on it. And then you can buy stuff from a convenience store or any other shops really. You can buy stuff at restaurants. You can take trains with this thing. It is one of the most versatile tools in my wallet. So I recommend getting an IC card as soon as you land. And last but not least, number seven. Number seven is do not underestimate Golden Week. I mean, Golden Week is already passed, unfortunately, at the time of this video. It is a holiday-filled week where Japanese people will go all over Japan, travel domestically, sometimes internationally. Everywhere you go, all the hotels will be more expensive and filled up. So if you are trying to travel during Golden Week, I recommend the week before setting up a hotel room for where you want to travel. I, I messed up. I went somewhere, all the hotels were filled up. I, I, I had to actually come home because of that, of that madness. Anyway, that was seven things that if someone had told me before coming to Japan, I would have really been like, okay, cool. Thank you very much. So... Uh, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. More videos coming soon. Thank you.